Hello friends, last time we discussed the practicals of the for loop and today we are going to discuss while loop in R and how do you do it practically. Uh, while loops are sim as uh, we were discussing the theory part also, while loops are similar to for loops. We are not going to go in depth of while loops, we are only going to see the structure of while loops and how it works. So I want to demonstrate the difference between the for loops and the I loops. Let me say while i is less than 100 you say print i right so when you run this code it will be giving you for i error in i object i not found but let me write for i in 1 to 100 print i so it has printed 100 for me it has not asked it is not giving error ke object i not found but for i while loop i want to demonstrate i have to initiate value of i so i'll say i equals to one i'll run again so it is not ending anywhere it is going on printing one it is going on printing one right so what is happening is you have initiated i equals to one you have Check the condition if i is less than 100 okay it's fine it is printing one but you have not incremented the variable i so that's why it is into infinite loops so you need to stop it here and you have to increment it so i increment it i equals to i plus one i'll run it again and it had printed till 99 because the condition is less than 100 so this is the difference between for loop and i loop where iterator variable has to be uh, initiated for the while loop which is not the case for the for loop now let us uh, consider the same data data iris i'll try to view it so it has given me the output the structure you know now i want to calculate the mean right i want to calculate the mean of all the sepalan irrespective of the species just to demonstrate how the while loop can work and i want to print on the console window what is the mean i don't want to store it anywhere so what i'll say you know there are four columns only so i'll say i equals to one why i is less than five okay now you want to print what you want to print mean of what iris index so when you do not give any comma and you got directly give it its number so it is going to print it is going to consider it as a column so i'll run this so it is giving me n is right so i'll stop this and check what's the error in it so when i say iris one so it is giving me this 150 data points when it i am mentioning its mean it is giving me an error so it is telling me argument is non-numeric so what's the issue in it the issue is in my quotes when i am telling it iris of i it is considering the very first column and it is converting it into a data frame but i don't want to give a data frame i had to give what a vector so i need to mention here comma all right and i'll say control enter it is going on printing 5.8433 continuously in infinite loop so i forgot to mention what incrementing i i'll do that here i equals to i plus one and I'll run it again. So it is printing the mean of all the four columns. Now I want in an understandable format. So I'll go to my the chapter handling strings with R, where I'm going to use the paste function, where I'm going to concatenate the several strings. So what I'll do, I'll say paste. So I'll say mean of, this is the first element the second element should be what the column names for which the mean has been calculated so it has to be in a dynamic format so call names 
iris of i so call names of iris of i you can see here if i is 4 then the call names of iris 4 will be petal width fine so i have printed mean of petal width condition if i equals to 4 i want to print is and i'll say mean of iris comma i right and i'll say separate equals to by a, a white space and i want to print that that also so i'll say control enter i'll say i equals to one and it'll start it so it has printed for me mean of sepal length is 5.8433 or sepal width is 3.05 petal length 3.75 and petal width 1.19 so this is how you can use while loops and you can use several other functions that we had seen in handling strings with r we had used paste function you can also use a specified library string r and use string underscore c which is also used for concatenation so this is how you can use several functions you can explore the r program so this was all about the while loop and the next topic will be the functions little bit different from if else and a while loop and a very important part.